Good day, good day to you, in the tongue of the Vikings. I am Bragi, the son of Magnar. Now, today, it is a Monday, a start of a week, and you know what that means. It, oh yes, it means a two minute history video. The, we all love these videos. Now today I was walking about in the village of Northworthy, where I was born. And it got me thinking about Anglo-Saxon Derby. So today, for a very brief video, I'm going to have our fellow host, the eminent Egil Thorson, talk about Anglo-Saxon Derby. Why was it called Northworthy? And why did the Vikings change the name to Derby? This is a brief video, and we will cover further content on our beloved city of Derby. So for me, it's goodbye. And before you sit down to watch this video, folks, grab a drink and... Relax, take a few minutes out of your busy life. Leave a comment. I'm going to talk about Viking Age Derby, or to give it its correct, uh, Anglo-Saxon Derby. Correct, give it its correct name, Northworthy. If you're watching this, you'll know the name Northworthy. We know that the oldest part of Derby is the Wardwick, which stands for Valdesvika. I mean, well, there's dairy farm. One thing uh, about Anglo-Saxon settlements is they tend to be built by rivers. Right? You don't need to maintain a river that much and you can go in and out. So the Wardwick in Derby actually is a river. If you go the other side, it, which is now um, leading to the museum, in Sadlergate, that too is a river. It's called Forge Street for a reason, because you have that. Now, that is an ancient church, and if you look at it, there are various phases. There is actually bits of Roman work. That doesn't mean to say it dates from the Roman period, but it means that people had Roman remains on their land, and they integrated it into the church so that they too could find salvation. So where was Northworthy? Well, that's the $64,000 question. There are people who say it didn't exist. There are people who say there must have been a Southworthy. We don't know. Um, maybe we'll find out in years to come. But as I say, it was quite a small place. Uh, it didn't really come into its own, I think, until the Vikings came and uh, renamed it Diorbi. But uh, there is one artifact in Derby Museum, which I think is relevant, and that is the tomb of St. Altmund. There are, of course, disputes. Is it St. Altman's tomb or is it somebody else's? Well, common uh, belief is that it's St. Altman's. And I'll be honest, I've not had any evidence really to prove it anywhere else. Now, St. Altman was the patron saint of Northworthy, which is odd because Altman was a Northumbrian prince who was killed in battle. But he was taken from uh, Northumbria down to Derby. And you could trace the route his body took, because where they rested a body at night, then that church changed its name to St Altman's. So basically, you follow the St Altman's lines, and then you've got the route. There is, in fact, one, I believe, in Belper, which is just outside Derby. Uh, some versions of Bede's History Ecclesiastica speak about St Altman's body by the waters of the River Trent. The River Trent, of course, natural, it, it flows. So, we well, you know very little really about um, Anglo-Saxon Derby. There are some artefacts in Derby Museum, far more actually than the Vikings. Um, there was one axe from Repton for the Vikings, but here we have beads. Uh, and there's an interesting thing, it's a purse ring big deal however that purse ring is from an african elephant it's a section cut through a tusk and if you imagine a velvet bag or something like that then you have a purse um so there must have been extensive trade network i'm not saying they came from northworthy to africa but there must have been a trade route of sorts somewhere along the way there are interesting avenues to explore and hopefully somebody will pick up the baton and actually start looking for more evidence. Okay, so that's basically um, all I've got to say on the matter. And until we meet again, I hope you all have a good time. If you have any comments, please leave it as hashtag Northworthy and uh, we'll hopefully well, we will get back to you with so many comments and it does take time but trust me we will get back to you again till we meet again and have a good time till we meet bye